Today I'm going to finally complete all of the Black Ops 2 Easter eggs. And for the Victus maps, we are of course going to be including both the Maxis and Richtof insides. Now since I haven't ever done any of the Victus Easter eggs, I'm very interested to see what the experience is going to be like. And I'm also interested to see what the Super Easter rewards are going to be. So without further ado, let's get into the Easter eggs. All right, so here we are loaded up on transit where we are beginning our journey and completing all of the Black Ops 2 Easter eggs. You guys really enjoyed whenever I did this for the Black Ops 1 maps, so of course, we're going to be continuing the series. Especially since this is a game where I haven't completed all of the Easter eggs, I've only really done the Mob of the Dead and Origins ones, and that was honestly recently where i first did them for the first time so yeah i haven't touched the victus easter eggs at all and that's mainly because back when black ops 2 first came out and back when the maps were dropping i didn't actually have any xbox live so i couldn't play online with friends to even do the easter eggs i could really only play locally which kind of sucked and you might be wondering how the flip i'm even planning on doing these easter eggs solo since most of them are not even possible solo well, shout out to the producers over here at Spippy Inc. as they provided me with a solo Easter egg mod. If you guys do want to check out the mod for yourselves to do these Easter eggs as well, definitely check the description. I'll have it linked down below. So yeah, there is two sides to each of these maps. We got the Maxis side and then we have the Richtofen side. Uh, we are going to be starting with the Maxis side first and then we'll move over to the Richtofen one. Um, so for the Maxis side, all we really need on transit is just the EMPs. After that, we can pretty much do everything else, uh, you know, ourselves on the map. We don't really need much else, honestly. It's kind of surprising. I honestly thought we were going to need a little bit more. So because we just need the EMPs out of the box, I'm going to try to get as many points as I can here and spawn before we even go to the diner. So that when we get to the diner, I'll be able to go ham on the box. And if the box moves, we'll just follow it until we get the EMPs. Honestly, EMPs are pretty common, though. I feel like I get them most of the time when I play transit. So hopefully this time that luck continues <laughs> it's usually when you want them that you don't get them and then when you don't want them you get them i gotta love rng double points nice 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 okay sweet so we'll leave at the end of this round and i also don't really want to use my turbine as much so i don't think i'm gonna use it to open the door i think i'm gonna actually buy this door since we do need the turbine for a step later i don't want to use it at all i'd rather just wait it would really suck if my turbine were to break when I need it. I guess, you know what? We don't even have to end the round. I guess we'll just go now. Oh, wait. That's La Zombie already. Whatever. We'll still go. <laughs> Come on, Ted. Drive. I would definitely like to get some other decent weapon, though. So hopefully we get lucky with the box. Maybe a Mark II. The Mark II would be pretty good just so I can boost jump to actually go around the map. It does help quite a lot whenever I have it. But we're not going to be able to buy any perks since with this Easter egg, it's kind of required to not have the power on. So we're not going to be able to buy Jug, Speed Cola, or anything, really. Quick Rob is going to be our only perk, which makes things slightly scary because of the area we're going to be in later. I remember back in the day, though, I thought Transit had the most insane Easter egg. I always thought it was going to be super complex, especially because of the size of the map. But it turns out it's really not that bad. <laughs> oh, I have the Bear Puma perk. Oh, nice. When the hell did I get this? That must have been from the round 30 challenge. Or I don't know, actually. I don't normally play the plutonium version. Okay, we have the executioner first hit. Not bad, not bad. Ray gun. Okay. That's good. Oh, the monkey bombs. Damn, we are getting... <laughs> we're getting blessed. Just not the right stuff. You know, I'd kind of maybe want the EMPs. Please. Not the monkeys. Oh, wow, the Galil. Damn, we have a crazy setup. <laughs> Okay, well, we gotta end the round. Damn, man. We got, like, really good luck. I would be very happy with the setup in a normal game. I just don't want this now. EMPs! No! Wow, we actually got the box to move. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see where it goes. Hopefully, it doesn't go back to Buzz Depot. That would suck. Okay, so it moved over. Okay, at least it's not backwards. What is that, like? Is that town? I always mix up the locations of the box. That might be town. All right, sweet. The bus is moving now, though. Hey, Ted, let me in. <laughs> I thought he was going to leave me. Ted, what the hell, dude? He pranked me. Yeah, I think that is town. Or is that power? If it's power, that's still good. We got to go to power anyway. Where is it at? Oh, dude, it was town. Oh, flip. I messed up. Dude, I never get the box in this location on transit. It's kind of nice. I'm going to have to get rid of the... Oh, the war machine? Okay, I'm not getting rid of anything. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my loadout. Screw it, dude. I feel like if I trade one of these guns, I'm gonna get terrible luck. We got the war machine with the teddy bear perma perk? Wow. 
Oh, there it is. Yes. May in peace. Okay. So now let's move over to the power. Okay. This is going to kind of suck. Hold on. We got to get the zombie over here. Okay. And then we got to go over here. Zombie, give me some time, please. Give me some time. 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 You know, Bobby. Okay. We got the power on. Does the zombie die if he's in here? Okay, he does. Oh, no, he, des he just despawns. Okay. So, we release the Avogadro. God, it's so bright in here. <laughs> okay. So, there we go. The Avogadro is released. Okay. So now we gotta turn the power off. By the way, is this the first time where you can turn the entire power off just by you flipping the lever? I'm pretty sure, right? I mean, I know there's certain maps like um, Origins where the generators turn off because of the zombies that attack it. But aside from that, there's no other map where it just literally turns off on your command, right? That's kind of cool. Shout out to Transit for doing that. Besides the Easter egg, there's really no point, I guess. <laughs> but, I mean, unless you want to troll your friends, that would suck. So now the next step after turning off the power is to go under the tower here. Now, I kind of got lost in the corn crops. So here we are. Uh, we do have the nav card table already built. And we got to get the Avogadro to spawn. But first, we got to place our turbine. So here, let me... Uh, I kind of messed up. I probably should have done it before the zombie spawned in, but it's okay. Let's place... Come over here, zombie. Okay. Now we kill the zombie, and we gotta wait for the Avogadro to spawn. Okay. God, I can barely hear the turbine so damn loud. I try to turn it up for you guys, but yeah, now the next step is to just let the turbine do its thing here. We gotta wait for the Avogadro to spawn. Luckily, the storm is already on top. So, uh, yeah, we gotta throw the EMP at the Avogadro down here. I just gotta be careful here because the zombies in the crops is not uh, safe. It's honestly scary seeing these zombies come out of the crops. It's, it's like terrifying, dude. They just pop out. By the way, we are gonna have to EMP the Avogadro without turning the turbine off. So, we have to get them literally like as far back in this area as we can. I really hope I don't mess this up by shutting the turbine off. Because I think I think if we do that, we're going to have to restart and place another turbine. I think. I mean, we'll find out. Hopefully, we don't have to cross that bridge. Avogadro. Avogadro. Is that him? <gasps> He's here. Okay, Avogadro. We need you in this area. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Avogadro. We need you in this area. I think we need to go over to the here. Bruh. He's here, he's here, he's here, he's here, he's here. EMP? EMP'd him? Was that, was that close enough? I think it was. Did I do it? I don't think I got it. I want to say, because I didn't see the animation up there. But let's go try. So we're supposed to... The next step is to place the um, turbine under a, under a lamp. Oh, God. Freaking Denison. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, Denison. Get off, dude. Oh, wait. Did I do it? Oh, my God. I think I did it. Oh, my God. I did it. We did it. We did it. No way. Yes. Oh, bro. That's how we just got destroyed. <laughs> Ted actually saved me for once. <laughs> Oh my god, what? No way, we did it. Hold on, we need the timer. There it is, that's some access I done. I didn't even hear the quotes. I was just so excited. Yes! Yes! Dude, that's so cool. Alright, hold on, let's go under the tower. Damn, these denizens, yeah. They're, they're... Get off me, denizen! Honestly, the denizens, bruh, no way. I was literally about to say that the denizens almost got me killed, and they literally just got me killed. <laughs> bruh, imagine if there was an Easter egg where you could have, like, a helmet that... Kind of like, it's like an anti denison thing. Kind of like a Pokemon, like a Repel or something. <laughs> but look at that, dude. Nice. So, that is the max inside done for Transit. Let's move over to the Ricky Toff inside. So, if I remember correctly, doesn't 
the globe show you that you did it? Let me see. If I remember correctly. I don't know if it works with plutonium. Yeah. Dude, oh my god. I remember seeing, like, streams with people that had theirs glowing. For Richtofen, it's going to be blue. But, um, I remember seeing this, and I, I always thought that was so damn cool. I actually... <laughs> we got it. <laughs> That's so awesome. And by the way, I know it kind of seems like I'm overreacting right now. I'm just so happy that I actually completed a Victus map Easter egg for the first time ever. This has been something that's been on my bucket list for a very long time now. And although we are using a mod, I still kind of get the whole experience. So it's pretty awesome. I'm just happy that I'm able to do it finally after so long. Now it's time for the Richtofen side. So we need to get a couple of things. We not only need the EMPs again, we also need the jet gun and we also need an explosive weapon. So as I'm hitting the mystery box, hopefully I'll be able to get the ray gun as well. That'd be a pretty good weapon to have. It sucks that I got it last game and I have a feeling I'm not going to get it this time. <laughs> Usually how it happens. So if anything, I might just keep the M1911 maybe. It really depends how fast to get the EMPs. I don't want to hit the box that much if I do get the EMPs early. So we'll see. I might just keep the M1911 and just pack a punch it. It's not going to be terrible since this time we actually can get perks if I really need to. And I probably will if I have to get the Mustang and Tallies. I don't know. Though. We'll, we'll, we'll see. It's all based off of the RNG on the box, I guess. So yeah, we need to get those three things. And hopefully we can get those relatively early on in the game. <laughs> and I also did make sure to play as Stoolinger as this is the only character that can actually listen to the Richtofen quotes. So yeah. We had, we had to get Stoolinger up in here. I'm going to pretty much do this the exact same way that I did this last game. We're going to stay in here for a bit, and then we'll move over to the diner. Oh, insta-kill. Don't mind if I do. Oh, and by the way, if it isn't obvious, we're not going to be using the bank at all on any of these maps. Since I didn't even use it last game. I just feel like if I'm already using a mod, there's literally... It, dude, doing it with the bank would make it so incredibly easy. I at least want, like, sort of a, you know, challenge, I guess you could say. <laughs> Oh, wait, we need the jet gun piece here. This is definitely a part of that other let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, I remember trying this back on Ice Plum 360, and I could not get back on the bus. That was a lot easier now that I, I don't know, I'm smart, I guess. <laughs> so we still have the, oh, no, we don't have the teddy bear anymore. Oh, that might have been the promo perk that we lost last game. What the hell is that? Wait, what? <gasps> what was that? It's like, it was like the Maxis Orb thing. What? That was cool as hell. Oh, God. Did he just bless my RNG? Definitely not. If anything, I think he punished me. Monkey bombs. Monkeys. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wait. So he just gives us the DSR? Every time I see that effect, I get the DSR. Is he like the DSR god? If so... That's a weird weapon. <laughs> like, why why that one of all weapons? I mean, the DSR is very good. Oh, wait, dude, it's actually really good that we got the box here at town. It's because we have to build the jet gun anyway. We could easily just place this part there, and then we can start running around the map. Look at Knocked, bro. This still has to be one of the coolest Easter eggs. So we need this. Ray gun, that is perfect. Sweet. Oh, EMPs. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Now we got everything that we need. Yes. We're going to save the zombie once more. So this time we are actually not going to turn the power off. We're just going to leave it as is. Going to free the Avogadro. Uh, we'll grab the final part for the jet gun here. And then we'll run over to town and build it. There it is. Rick Tuffin.
it sucks that Maxis comes out of like the radio, so you can't really hear him too well unless you're close to it. Meanwhile, Richtofen sounds super well, uh, because he actually is, you know, talking <laughs> to my boy Stolinger. Um, okay, so now we have to head over to the tower once more. So here we are. So I'm gonna kill the zombie, pull out the jet gun, aim the jet gun. There we go. Oh my god, I almost just killed myself. There we go. So, we had to blow up the jack gun there. Now we gotta get 25 kills with an explosive weapon, which is why we got the ray gun. Sweet. I don't know if they have to be in this area. I guess I might as well just kill them in this area. That's two, three, four. I mean, I guess it's until we hear the quote anyway. I probably should have looked at the leaderboard to see how many kills I had, but I want to say. I got the amount of kills we need. Oh, Avogadro! Shoot. Okay, we're gonna have to watch out. I don't want to throw any MP at him, because if I get a maximum, I'll throw any MP. But only if that. Oh my god! Freaking Avogadro. I'm scared to go into the crops too because I can't really see the zombies in there. Bruh. Avogadro is sniping the hell out of me. There we go. Okay. So, we definitely have enough kills now. It's just that I got to go around the map uh, and throw the EMPs. Now, since we do have the mod, we don't have to throw it at four. So we're not doing this like, you know, super legitimately. We just got to throw the EMPs at two lamps that are green. So we're going to create a teleporter. Oh my goodness, Denison's. Okay. So there we go. That's we got a portal there. We're going to throw the EMP here. Okay, we're going to go into the portal. EMP this. There we go. Yes. I'm going to wait until the tower turns blue. Or I think it turns blue, right? Eh, it's fine. We technically did it already. <laughs> 38. Nice. 38 minutes. So it was significantly longer. But that is the Easter egg done. Look at this. We're now wrecked off inside. <laughs> I kind of like the orange, though. The orange looks a lot better, in my opinion. The blue is kind of cool, not going to lie, but the effect of the orange looks uh, a lot better with the fog and everything. So, yeah, that is uh, that is transit done, though. If you guys want to see me do this actually legitimately and go through the pain of trying to do this, I can already tell it's going to take me forever to do it. But, hey, if you guys want to see it, let me know. I'll definitely do it legitimately without the mod. Because I know it is possible. It's just you need literal perfect RNG. If you mess up once... It's like the worst thing, too, because you got to get a max ammo, you got to go in the portal, and then you got to wait for another max ammo if you fail. Ah, oh, dude, it already sounds painful, but let me know, dude. Hit that like button, comment down below, tell me to do it, and uh, I got you guys. All right, let's take a look real quick. Now it's blue. <laughs> That's so cool. We are now moving on to Die Rise, and of course, we're going to be starting off with the Maxis Easter Egg. So, we got to build the Trample Steam. We do got to get the Ballistic Knife out of the Mystery Box as well. But let's start off by actually getting some points, getting the power on, all that nice stuff. And then we'll start moving on to the actual uh, Easter Egg steps. So, it doesn't seem like it's going to be too crazy, though. It actually looks like it's going to be quite a bit of fun, so I'm looking forward to it. It's interesting that we do got to get the Ballistic Knife out of the box, though. It's kind of a weird weapon, in my opinion. I mean, I guess. I don't know what the significance is of the Ballistic Knife. The EMP actually makes sense to get on uh, Transit, but the Ballistic Knife just seems like a random weapon, I, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so let's start getting these parts down here. 
I gotta hurry though, cause the zombie's gonna pop out. Damn, why does that zombie have to be so fast? I'm always scared of this. I feel like I'm gonna fall off. There we go. We gotta try to fall down to see. Hey, zombie! You idiot! I think we got all the parts there, right? Let me get a quick revive before anything crazy happens. <laughs> Okay, there we go. We got our trample steam. Hey, yo. Okay, let's start moving this way. Uh, I think I want to buy the A94 off the wall just to get a decent weapon off rip. And it's good to have this area open already since we're going to have to come back here later on in the Easter egg as well. So now let's just work on getting some points. Classic insta kill. Animax ammo too. There we go. Okay, we're going to leave that zombie so we can move forward. Should I build the Slickwifier? Yeah, let's let, let's get the Slickwifier parts too. Is there another part in here? Let me check. There might be one here. Yep, okay. So we got Pack-a-Punch. I didn't see that other perk. I'm gonna try to build this as fast as I can so that I can actually go up with the elevator. I don't want the, I don't wanna have to wait for them to come back down. Oh God. I think it's about to leave. Oh, sweet. I caught one. So actually, we can start the step now for the Easter egg. So since we are using the solo Easter egg mod, we only have to stand on one of the symbols that's on top of one of the elevators. So is there one here? Okay, so this should... There we go. I can barely hear the quotes. Okay. <laughs> that was like super quiet. <laughs> Now, we're supposed to stand on these symbols in a specific order, but I think since we're only solo, we're only supposed to stand on one. I think that's confirmation that we did it. Is that all you gotta say, Maxis? Okay. Yeah, okay. I mean, let's go test it. I think uh, there's another symbol over here. Let's test it. I'm pretty sure. The thing is, with the solo Easter egg mod, unfortunately, I would kind of like to do this officially. It'd be it'd be cool if there was a way for me to actually stand on all of them in a specific order. But yeah, it seems like we can't. Also, there's a weird thing where, um, for some reason, I can't jump at certain times. Like, look. Let's see if it happens. See right there. You, can you hear my space bar? This happened to me earlier when I was standing on the elevator. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I hate that. I don't know why that happens. It didn't happen on transit. I don't know if that's a mod thing or a plutonium thing, but that kind of sucks a lot. I really, especially here on Die Rise, I'm really hoping that I'm not in a position where I have to jump a gap and then the jump doesn't work and then I freaking fall off the map. That better not happen. Please, God, don't let that happen. <laughs> that would suck so much. Now that we've done the symbol stuff, that's pretty much all that this mod really messes with. From this point on, it's pretty much the same way that you would do this if I didn't have this mod installed, so that's pretty nice. Now, the next thing we have to do is buy the SVU so we can shoot the balls off of the dragon. <laughs> Pause. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna get rid of the AN94 for this. I think, right? Should we get rid of the Soulco Fire? I was thinking about it and the slick of fire, I don't know, would it really help me that much? I feel like this is going to be more for, like, training, you know, scenarios, I guess you could say. I feel like this wouldn't really be that good if I'm just running around the map like how I am with the sea strike. So, I, I'm kind of considering getting rid of it, especially since I'm going to need points for the box to get the ballistic knife. I feel like it's going to be better to just get rid of it. I, I think I will, unfortunately. I pretty much built it for no reason. Oh, that really sucks. All right, it's fine. We're going to have enough to get the SVU now. So goodbye, Slickle Fire. I birthed you. I <laughs> birthed. I built you so I can get rid of you, unfortunately. And I missed my elevator out of here. So now we shoot this ball. Bam. That's one. Bam. That's two. So now that we shot those orbs off of the dragon, let's head over towards the box because I kind of want to start getting points for the ballistic knife. I want to try to get the ballistic knife honestly as fast as I can, especially since it's the only weapon we got to get out of the box. I wouldn't mind starting now that we're on kind of a low round. So we'll continue with the Easter egg once I get the ballistic knife though. I know I don't need the ballistic knife now. I just want to get it as early as I can. And is it jumping jacks? Not jumping jacks. 
I'll see if I can maybe get a perk with the trample steam. <laughs> Normally I just get the bowie knife or the galvanicles or something, but it's kind of a bad idea to get any melee weapons off the wall since it kind of messes with the Easter egg step. So I don't, I'm not going to be doing any of that. Oh, did we just get the teddy bear promo perk? Oh, we didn't. What the hell did I just get then? I don't know. Okay, let's see if I can maybe get a perk. Hammer. I just hope I don't get who's who if I do get a perk. Oh, you know what? I think for the most part, most of them spawn up here. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, this might be good. Oh, dude. I think only a couple spawn behind me. But but they have to do the animation to get up here. Oh, dude, this is OP. Did we actually get a perk? Oh, my God, we did. <gasps> what? What? How did I get a perk? Did I not have 100% accuracy? Did I miss one of those? What? I feel jibbed. Wow. I swear I feel like I didn't miss. But maybe I did. Oh, we got the ray gun too. Oh, snap. Oh, but we got the teddy bear perma perk. Oh, nice. Teddy bear perma perk to get the teddy bear. There's no reason for us to stay in this area. Since, uh, oh, oh, snap, thought I just fell. Since the box isn't there anymore. So, yeah, we got to get a couple of kills down here until we hear the Max's quote. Okay, we got a quote. I have a feeling that might have been the quote we needed to hear. <laughs> I couldn't really hear it that well. I'm going to say that that was the quote we needed. I don't think we need that many kills. And we got a good amount of kills. I love the sky on Diarize. It looks so nice. Look at that. It's so cool. <gasps> the ballistic knife! Finally! Okay, perfect. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say perfect, but, you know. <laughs> okay, let's go down to the Buddha room now. Oh, man. Not the jumping jacks. Nah, I mean, I don't really want a free perk anymore. Screw you guys. <laughs> I don't need one. <laughs> I'm good with the perks I have. Yeah, okay, we'll stay here. We'll get some points. We need 5k to pack a punch. And then, literally, once we pack a punch, we're pretty much good. That's really the only thing we need to do that involves points or anything. The rest can easily be done if I just go around the map, so. Okay, pack a punch. The ballistics. Easy. Uh, it looks like we just got to shoot the ballistic knife in the middle. Oh, yeah, there we go. Was it the last quote? <laughs> okay, there we go. Sweet. So now onto an actual fun step. We gotta place the trample steam on four different locations, and it's pretty much gonna toss the balls that we shot out of the mouth of the dragon. That's a crazy sentence I just said, but it's gonna pretty much just like bounce them around uh across the map and stuff. So let's go do that. And with this mod, I guess there's another thing that the mod changes where you can place multiple trample steams. I can place four, I think, in total. I'm not. I can probably place more. I don't know exactly. I, I just know that you can at least place four <laughs> for these uh, four spots you got to place it in. So there is actually one up here in this spot we're gonna be going to right now. I gotta get the zombie away a little bit. I guess it could be kind of annoying placing it. We'll see. Hopefully the zombie doesn't destroy it. So let's see. Is zombie gonna be? Oh, zombie's just gonna play around there. Okay. So this is one of the lion ones. Place it there. And you know if you placed it in the correct position, if you can't pick it up. So, it doesn't let me pick it up. Yep, there we go. So, that's good. Weird that the zombie's just stuck there. Hopefully, he despawns so he doesn't destroy it. So, there's a, another spot over here. So, we gotta place it in the direction, right? Should be perfect. That should be perfect. There we go. Okay, so the last 
Triple stim location is right here. Perfect. And now we gotta pick up this ball. We gotta pick up the other one too, but let's place this one first. So we gotta place this one on this trample seam. See, it gets flung. Then we get this one. We place it. I guess we'll just. Oh, I don't get enough for it. Uh. Okay, the elevator's coming down. Where's this elevator at? We'll just come down here. And then this next ball goes on this trample steam. It gets flung. And then we should see lights. Yeah, there we go. Nice. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Maxis was talking from like a mile away. But um, now it's time for the tile step. This is a step that is definitely the most um i guess the longest like this probably this is like the most confusing step out of them all i would say so far everything's been very very simple this is definitely the one that will uh take probably the longest so oh yeah actually hold on before we start this next step i gotta get points because i need to actually buy the galvanicles so let's let's go to an area where i can at least do that safely i, th I think this spot should be fine So, oh my goodness. Now let's start looking for these tiles. So there's one here. Uh -huh. All right, so I think that I have the order that I should knife these in. <laughs> We have a 50-50 chance, all right? And it's okay if I do fail it once. The only colors that I think I have confused is, or I guess the order is the west and north. I think north is the third spot we hit. And then it, it can either be the first, north can either be the first or the third one we hit. So first we're gonna try with north being the third one. And then we'll try it again. It will end the round if it fails and then we'll do it another way. I know it's, I know it kind of sounds confusing the way I just explained it, frankly, because I don't, uh, probably because I don't even know how this step really works and you know, I don't know, but we're, we're going to see. So let's see. So the first one we're going to hit is West. Wait, no, I thought it was supposed to turn off. Ah, oh, bruh. Did we just, we, <laughs> We literally just messed it up. I thought the light was going to shut off. I didn't think that it actually, like, made connection. Ah, oh, dude, we just failed it. <laughs> okay, well, let's end the round. Okay. So. West. South. North. Bam. Did we do it? Is that completed? I think so. Are we going to hear a quote? I think that's done. Hold on, I guess we'll stop timer. <laughs> I want to say... Oh, I did! Yeah, I got all the perks. I didn't even realize that. What the heck? Okay, I paused just to see if there was any extra steps. Whoops, I accidentally continued the timer. Okay, so there we go. That's that's the max side done. Let's go. So yeah, let's start working on the Richtofen one. I cannot believe that took an hour. Wow. The stupid ballistic knives, bro. Now on to the Richtof inside. We are playing as Stoolinger once more. I feel like I'm just going to keep this a thing. I kind of like playing as Stoolinger for the Richtof inside. So every time we do a Richtofen Easter egg, we're going to be playing as Stoolinger. So we can at least hear Richtofen. Um, but uh, it seems like the first couple of steps are literally the same as the Maxis side. It changes a little bit once we get past one of the symbol steps. So... I'm going to go ahead and get to that point, I guess. There's really no point in me showing you guys me doing the exact same thing <laughs> all over again. It's really not that much. All I got to do is just literally get the power on, build the trample steam, build the slocal fire, and do the two symbol things that we did. And that's literally it. Like, after that, that's when it's a little bit different. So, it's not going to be too much, but I'll cut to whenever I'm moving on to a newer step, I guess you could say. <laughs> By the way, about the nav card thing, uh, I'm not really too worried about the nav card. Uh, listen, this this is the plutonium version. I don't really play this version too much, and especially with the mod, I 
don't really think it's necessary for me to swipe the nav cards, so I don't think I'm going to be doing that. But I will show you guys the super easter egg rewards. I think the super easter egg rewards are pretty cool. Although I think it's only one time use, right? Um, I, I think once you claim the reward, then you have to redo all the easter eggs again i'm not sure but don't worry in the future i plan on doing something uh legitimate for these easter eggs so you know this is just for me to get the experience of doing them but you know I, personally i don't really take the super serious i'm not like you know uh <laughs> i'm not super crazy about doing all this solo and saying that i did it solo and all this stuff i really i uh, just want to get the experience for the easter eggs <laughs> bam Bam, bam. There we go. The balls! Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright, sure, Rick Toffin. Sure. So I'm gonna fall down here first so I can get rid of the zombie for a bit. Um, let's get back on the elevator. All right, so now we gotta shoot the balls that we just shot. Okay, pause. <laughs> we have to shoot these right here. There we go. Spinning. Just a little bit more. I'm gonna be completely out of slick of our ammo. It's okay. There we go. So now we got the fireworks. So we're now done with that. We have no slick of our ammo, which kind of sucks. So now we got to get kills with the trample steam. We actually have to place the trample steam on that symbol right there. This like nuketown zombie. That I like that symbol. It looks pretty sick. Um, we got to place the trample steam on that facing towards the pylon. And we got to get kills using the trample steam. I don't know exactly how many kills you got to get. You got to get a good amount though. So we got we to gotta be careful with that. I guess we're only going to use the SVU then. Sure. Okay, zombie, come over here, over here, over here. I think I placed that correctly. Yes. That should be confirmation that we got it. Well, I mean, that we're at least starting it correctly. I don't think zombies spawn back here, right? They only spawn in front of me? We'll find out. Oh, they do spawn back here. I'm just gonna, okay, I'm gonna cover this side and we'll let these zombies die to the trample steam. It's going to be easier that way. Oh, there we go. We did it. Yeah, yeah, we did it. Oh, I didn't mean to buy this. Yes, sir. Okay, so we got to get the Galvan Knuckles again, and then we also have to uh, do the tile step once more. So we got to get ready for that. The tile step isn't that bad, though. Honestly, now that I kind of understand how it works, it's really not that bad. I don't have all the symbols, but we're going to try it anyway, because I think I know what it is. So we're going to go... We're going to go south. East, which is over here. And then over here. Bruh, <laughs> nice. So much faster that we didn't need RNG, thank goodness. So there we go. That one was actually pretty fun. I actually I actually enjoyed that one a lot. I can see why a lot of people like the Richtoff inside of the of this Easter egg, since um I normally don't see people do the Max aside. Everybody does the Richtoff inside. I imagine that this is the Easter egg that somebody did in four minutes, not the Max aside. But yeah, this is the symbol I didn't have because I didn't want to come down here. I didn't have enough points to get back. So there would have been no way. I guess I could have I could have gone through the elevator. But no, I couldn't have, right? Or I think, doesn't this go all the way down? 
and then I could kind of maybe get back up through that way. It would have taken forever. I just took the risk. It wasn't even a risk, really. I had three out of the four uh, directions, so I'm pretty happy we got all the perks. It's funny how little perks there are on Die Rise. I always think that there is like eight, but dude, look at this. There's barely six. Die Rise was a pretty fun experience. I really do enjoy this one. I might honestly do this Rick's Alpha one more often. The tile step was a little confusing at the beginning, but with the sniper it's so much easier i mean i'm sure if you have it memorized already which symbol is which but i had to kind of like <laughs> study it a little bit to see which one it is it's a lot harder without the scope that's for sure so yeah i'll uh see you guys over on buried i don't have the nav card so rip i have another nav card i don't know which nav card this is but again we're not really too worried about that the Richthofen ones seem a lot more fun. I'll tell you that for sure. So let's take a look at this. We got the Diarize blue. And then we got the Transit blue so far. Nice. Time for Buried. And this is one of the Easter eggs that I know absolutely nothing about. At least for Transit and Diarize. I kind of had an idea, I guess you could say, of what the Easter egg steps were going to be. I didn't know exactly the steps or anything too specific. I just knew some stuff but this time i know nothing about the easter eggs we're going in pretty much blind this is going to be our very very first attempt ever <laughs> so yeah let's see how this goes i didn't even know there was a noose on this map that's how little i know about buried i i did not know you could build a noose bro what <laughs> So yeah, actually, that's the first thing we do got to build. We got to build the noose. I will uh, try to open the map as much as I can. I'll try to get as many points as I can from Leroy, having him break the barriers and stuff. So we'll take the beginning a little bit slow, as there isn't that many steps. It's not anything too crazy. Honestly, these Victus Easter eggs seem more like, I guess, side Easter eggs, I, I want to say. I mean, I that sounds kind of rude, I guess. They don't seem like full Easter eggs, like how we know today with Black Ops 3 or even Origins, things like that. It's, it's sort of like little things that you wouldn't really notice unless you actually tried it or knew about it. Because some of these things I did not know about, man. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, let's just get some points here, and then we'll go over to the actual map. We're also going to need some things out of the box. We're going to need the Time Bombs the paralyzer well I, I i don't know if you really need the paralyzer i want it though but we definitely need the time bomb okay this should be a good amount of points we have some zombies left i don't know if it's one or two there's definitely one left though uh, i'm gonna grab quick revive just to have it let's get the free points from the remington okay so in here we have like the rope parts of the noose i think it's in here aha right here bro what i never I didn't even, I've never even, like, opened that door. That's a door? No way. Okay, it's not. I was going to say, so we have to go up the top. Oh, wait, we have this door. So I think that leads to where the nav card table's at. I think the only way to get there, though, is through breaking the door with um, Leroy, right? Yeah, yeah, that goes there. Okay. Bro, what? I never, wow, that's crazy. Okay, well, let's free Leroy first so that I can lock the box in, and I'll start going ham on it. Okay, and we are going to have to get this door open. I normally don't open this side. We're going to open it, though. And, bro, we're actually going to be able to make bank. We just got to get the chalk. Oh, bro, that's not the direction I sent you in. At all, Leroy. What? <laughs> that is not where I sent you at all. Okay, well, uh, Leroy. Yikes. Okay. Let's see. Please, some of the hits. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Let's get the PDW wall by. Give him the candy. Sweet. I'll go and buy Jug. So I'll build the noose and then I'll. I'll end the round. Well, this hits. Bro, look at this. I'm aiming. Okay, my body. Go. This. I'm literally as straight as humanly possible right now. Oh, that helped. That little bump helped. If not, he would have missed. Yeah, he would have missed. <laughs> so, yeah. Looks like you build the noose here. I never knew this, dude. This is crazy. I'm so shocked. Okay, I think the next part's in here. Oh, no. I opened the wrong side. 
Okay, you know what? I Since I opened the wrong door, I'm just going to hit the box real quick. And then we will get the free booze next round. We already opened up a pretty good amount and did a decent amount. Let's see what I get though. I just want a weapon. Oh my goodness. Time bomb early. S12. Rip. So now that we have some weapons, let's continue building the noose. So there's another part over here. Wait, where, which one is it? Ah, this thing. The jar. Or no, light bulb or whatever the hell this is. It kind of looks like a jar. Nah, it looks like light bulb too. Here, let me end the round. I'd say we have quite the setup for round four, huh? I might be too far to the right. I might be too far to the right. Oh, no, I'm good. I thought he was going to hit this part. Sweet. Oh, no, I was right. This box that's over here is actually for the noose. I'm so used to the three items. There we go. The noose is built. Do I put myself in it? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Unless, no. So it looks like I was actually kind of confused at the beginning. It seems like I do need to have the paralyzer. So let's start in the box for the paralyzer a little bit because we got to build the subsurface and the turbine. So I guess while I'm building that, I'll hit the box to see if I can maybe get lucky here. I can't really hit it that much though. I'm 12, 16. I'm gonna save a zombie while I build everything. Let's see. Oh, no way! On the last hits. Uh, okay, so if I remember the subsurface, that's trample. Subsurface has these. I don't think it matters where you build what where, right? I built the turbine here in this area, and then I built the subsurface on this side. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. Okay, so for this next part, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do this exactly this way. I'm not too sure. I'm following a guide right now for this. Uh, so, yeah. But uh, apparently you're supposed to shoot these orbs around the map until they're white with the paralyzer. And then once they're white, then I got a subsurface and turbine it. I've seen people say that you don't need to wait until it's white. But I'm going to do it anyway just in case. I, I, I'm not sure, dude. I don't know. But we're going to try it anyway. So, put the subsurface. Okay. I'm just gonna wait until it breaks. Did it go? Oh, it broke. Perfect. It did break, right? That, that's what. Yeah, it broke. I'm not sure where the orb is in the mine. That's the one that I, I don't think I've seen. I don't normally go into the mines. We're gonna have to look for that one. Damn! So it literally only takes one shot. Sweet. Aha, right here. Okay. Zombie, follow me. Okay. Subsurface, do your thing. Break that thing. Oh. We said something. Yeah, my bad if I talk over the quotes. I don't, uh, I don't know when the quote's supposed to even, like, pop up. <laughs> Damn, actually, for this next part, you know what? I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring the subsurface before we get too far, because I gotta go over to the witch's house. Or, actually, I gotta wait anyway. Oh, no, I don't, yeah, I gotta wait anyway. I don't have enough points to even get into that side, so. Let's end the round. Let's go through the round a little bit. Do I have PhD? No, I don't. Um, yeah, we'll wait until next round, because I get enough points. I have a feeling my turbine's probably going to break. I'm just going to place it here and I'm going to go grab the subsurface. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it breaks. Oh my goodness, I almost shot Leroy. I don't think I need Leroy alive. Or, not alive. I don't think I need Leroy free. Alright, we got to be careful with the ray gun. We got to stand a little bit further away. I don't really care if they take my points. Whoops. At least I don't care right now. Oh, and I'll take the free perk, actually. I forgot about that. I think that should be far enough. There we go. You know what, let me move this closer, like right here. I'm gonna get the free perk and then I'm gonna go back. Vulture! 
Sweet. By the way, is that the first automatic door? I know I keep on saying that for like everything. <laughs> is this the first that or is that the first this? Now, I think that's the first time we actually have to wait for a door, right? There's not been that again since Buried. Okay, this is the last one. There we go. If no one else wants it. Boom, 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 boom. Bro, the theme for Buried is so good. Let's go back to the main area of the map. And we gotta look for a lantern that is somewhere above the map. I don't think I have to flip the round, do I? Apparently it could be like anywhere on the map. Oh, there it is. Can I shoot with the ray gun? No, it's gotta be a grenade. Okay, let's see. One, I can't believe that actually hit it. Okay. Perfect. So now that we got the lantern, we actually have to use Leroy a little bit here. I'm quite surprised about this. So we gotta get zombie kills with Leroy. That's pretty awesome. So um let's I guess we'll end the round. Where's Leroy at though? I didn't shoot him on accident, did I? I hope that grenade didn't accidentally hit him. Oh my god, he's in jail. He's in jail. Son of a brother. Okay. Holy! He kicked him towards me. <laughs> I think that's it. I didn't hear the noise. Let's go check. So, there's a little marking up here. Where I can, I think, place the lantern. Yeah, right here. Okay, so here's the codes. Right. We'll come back to this. Let me let me get a zombie. So the top one, it's U C R R L. Yeah, that's Dry Gulcher. Bottom one is J O O R R O. She. Yeah, that's definitely Conception Cross. And then the bottom one is gonna be. Bone Orchard View. The only problem now is that I need to have the time bomb. So I was hoping I'd be able to get the... Oh my god! Wow, no way. I was just talking about how I was hoping that I would have it now so that I could do this. But oh my god, no way. <laughs> Alright, well, looks like we can do this. Let's go. Alright, sweet. So they're going to be the mine shaft. Let's head up there. Okay, so dry... That's the first one we need. Where the hell does zombie come from? Lunger, that's not one. We need consumption. Oh shoot! I forgot that was a thing. Oh my god, I forgot that was a thing. Good thing I broke it. <laughs> so now I know. Holy hell. Consumption. Consumption cross. It's the second one. This is when I gotta place my time bomb before I hit the third one. So I should probably go place it over here first let's place it let's place it here i guess i don't really know where to place it but we'll, we'll just place it here oh whoops wrong one there we go bone there it is bone orchard okay so we hit that now we got a wisp now we just gotta follow it damn this thing moves fast Wait, what the hell? This thing's actually going all around the map. This is sick. I thought I was just gonna go straight to like where I needed to go. Wait, where the hell is this gonna go? Holy crap, dude, this thing goes far. I hope it doesn't go anywhere where I don't have the map open. <laughs> Cause I don't have enough points. No way it goes through here. <gasps> I assume there is no recourse in this matter. 
No. 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 Bruh, as I said it, as I said it, it went, dude. No. Okay, well, there is one area of the map that I can open with the booze. I don't know if I have to end the round, though. Oof, that sucks that I failed because I already placed the time bomb. I wonder how that's going to work. Ah, oh, dude. No, man. Oh, and the round ended anyway. Oh, no, it didn't. Leroy, hurry up. Leroy, hurry up. No, Leroy. Stop checking your feet. How much? Uh, give me 1,060. Let's build this 74U here. Let's get the free thousand. And then let's see if I can start this over again. Can I? That door that we couldn't open earlier should be the only door that I don't have open at all. That should be the only one. The other ones we should have open. We still have some extra points in case it passes through somewhere else. There we go. A little jam out. Okay, so now we hit the time bomb. Hit the nay nay. Hit the time bomb. Hey, hit the time bomb. Now we gotta do the entire thing all over again. There we go. Does it take the same path? I hope it does. <laughs> oh, we have less points now. Oh, yeah, because time bomb. Ha 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 ha. Did I lose PhD? I hate my life. I just got it and then now I lost it. Love it. So by the way, because of the mod, we don't actually have to have the wisp go through zombies. I think that's supposed to be one of the steps. Uh if you do this normally. It's gotta go through some zombies, I believe. But this time with the mod doesn't have to, which is pretty great. Makes it a little bit easier for me. Now, again, if you guys want me to do all these Easter eggs legitimately, I just, the thing about doing it in a group is I kind of like to experience it myself. I, not like in a, not like in a, I want to do everything myself, but more or less, I want to get the whole gist of it. And in a group, I feel like it's a lot harder to do that. So I kind of like doing it this way, at least personally. But hey, if you guys want to see me do this all legitimately, I will definitely do that. I just got to find four people that are down to do all the Easter eggs. And especially for like, videos and stuff i feel like it's it's a lot better if i just do it solo for the most part you guys get a better experience i get a better experience it's all perfect so there we go that is the wisp step we're on to the bell step the bell step so let's go activate the bell bells to actually start the step we got to go into the witch's house now we don't have any points so i don't really care if the witch hits me or anything so she can have all my money all of my 590 points. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, so here. Okay, so that's going to be in the candy shop. I already got my free perk for this round, right? And by the way, I believe this bell step is not timed. Um, Because of the mod as well. Right here. Okay, so it's middle. It's too middle. So that one's over here in this barn. Okay, so now it's bottom left ring. Okay, now it's top right. It should be this one. Sweet. Okay, now it's bottom right. Okay, so now it's middle left. What? I got red screen from that? Holy moly. I think we got two more bells to go. We're almost done. Okay, so it's... Ah, uh, it's bottom middle. Alright, so last one is top middle. Alright. Oh, wait, no, we have one more. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the... Okay, right middle. <laughs> I thought we finished it. I've used so much ammo <laughs> on the ray gun. Did we just get PhD back? Yes, we did. We're going to do this for an hour. There it is. Okay, so the next step is to interact here and to make a wish. Now, unfortunately, the sharpshooter part 
is also skipped, at least on the Maxis side. But I believe the Sharpshooter part is available for the Richtofen part. So we do got to watch out for that. But yeah, unfortunately, we don't have to worry about this. Or maybe fortunately. I'm looking forward to the Richtofen side so we could do the Sharpshooter step. But it sucks that it kind of got skipped on this part. As you can see, it's kind of doing it on its own. Bam! I think this is such a cool step, though. Damn, these things are going by fast. I hope I didn't mess anything up by shooting it. Oh, the zombie. Oh, no. I thought the zombie wasn't going to attack you. Okay, there we go. There is the Maxis side done. We got all the perks. Now, again. Oh, wow. Look at the nav card stuff. Wait, so does this. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. The button is. You can use it. I don't know how that's going to mess with anything because I've done two Richtofen sides and then one Maxis because um, if you guys didn't know, for Black Ops 2, since there is two sides, if I were to do the Maxis side and then do the Richtofen, it'll pretty much erase the Maxis stuff. So everything was going to be blue. But since this time we did the Maxis side and then we're going to be doing the Richtofen next, I don't know if that's going to mess with anything. Should I do it anyway? The Maxis side isn't that cool. I kind of like... I kind of like Richtoff inside a little bit more. We'll do it. I'm pretty glad that the Super Easter egg actually worked. So if you guys didn't know, the Maxis side which is this side, as you can see, it's all red. Um, this is the actual canon storyline. The Richtofen one, it's pretty cool you could do it, but the Maxis one is the one that's true to the story, so it's pretty awesome. I believe there's a couple of permanent things. I forgot what it is. I know the Richtofen one, you get Mule Kick permanent for the game, but you can carry four weapons. I think that's super cool. And you also get a, a permanent fire cell for the game. This one, I don't remember what the permanent stuff is. Oh, I remember now. So, yeah, it's going to stay red for the rest of the game. But there's supposed to be a Richtofen zombie that spawns in with blue eyes. Because the eyes change to orange. I don't know why this one's blue. But they're supposed to become orange now. It's not supposed to be blue anymore. I don't know if it's like... Is it going to do this the entire time? Like this whole like, like shaking stuff? <laughs> But, but what's pretty cool, too, is that the power-ups are no longer going to be announced. So, like, Richtofen's done. I kind of wonder how that's going to work. So, yeah. Okay, that was that the Richtofen zombie? It's guaranteed. The blue eye zombie is guaranteed to have a drop. Yeah, look. It doesn't say anything. That's sick. And the mystery box no longer says bye-bye, apparently. So, yeah, pretty much, the, like, Richtofen's deleted, almost. He's, he's now the zombie. So, yeah, let's see. Orange eyed, there it is. That's so cool. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show you guys the Richtofen side. I guess whenever I do the Richtofen side of this Easter egg, we'll see. All the other Easter egg progress completely deletes. So you would have to do all the other Easter eggs again, um, which kind of sucks. So yeah, we'll see. I mean, hey, at least I showed you guys the Maxis side. I think the Maxis side is also pretty cool, but I think four weapons is probably the most useful one out of all of them. It is pretty cool to have a zombie that you know is going to have a guaranteed drop, but now, it's not as cool as having four weapons, dude. Four weapons is awesome. It literally is awesome. But let's move over to the Rick Toffin side now. Enough of my yapping. Let's uh, let's see what the Ricky Toffin side is looking like. Let's take a look at the globe. Let's see what it looks like now. So, yeah, none of them are glowing anymore. I knew it. Okay, so here we are for the final Victus Easter egg. Unfortunately, this has been a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. So we're now on to the Rick Toffin side. Now, essentially, it's kind of the same thing as the diarize one where we pretty much need the exact same stuff we need the paralyzer the time bomb and this time instead of building the noose we got to build the guillotine so yeah I'll, I'll probably just cut back whenever i have everything i think as that's kind of the boring part as oh yeah pretty much and i pretty much already did that once with the first maxis part so yeah i think i will just cut to whenever i have everything ready We've got the first part. This is like a satellite thing. This is for the guillotine. Again, I didn't know this was even possible to build. 
So here's the second part for the guillotine. Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 Rick Toffin are so awesome. Oh, nice. Paralyzer. Okay, we just need Time Bomb. We have Mark II and Paralyzer. Damn, it sucks too that we don't really have the best weapons right now, at least for points. Obviously, we have insane weapons, but these don't really provide too many points. We're going to have to find a way, some might say. And it's crazy that last Easter Egg wasn't even that long. I think what we didn't even get past around 10 or something. Holy crap, Rick Tuffin. <laughs> I think the game just does not want to give me the time bomb, and it sucks, because I have pretty much everything ready. I just need the time bomb. I think once I actually do get it, I might just be able to do the entire <laughs> Easter egg. I just need it. It's just our luck is... It's better, but worse at the same time. Oh, okay, monkeys. That's good. We took something out of the box, so hopefully now the rates will go up a little bit. Come on, time bomb. Dude, look at this. <laughs> okay. Um, We just got an insane amount of points. I'm on round 18, 35 minutes in. We have to get it this round. Dude, if we don't, I will be so surprised. We have 10k. I still don't have the uh, perma perk for the bear, which sucks. Uh, but yeah. If I don't get it in this, <laughs> in this 10k... I am going to be pissed. I'm almost sure I'm not going to get anything, though. I already know, dude. I already know. <gasps> there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Let's go. Finally, dude. 40 minutes in. My goodness. I knew I was going to get out of the 10K. And look at how many points I have now. Gotta love it. I'm dry. I'm literally dry. Okay, so I'm only missing one more part for the guillotine. Uh, I didn't grab the crystal. I completely forgot about that. I kind of wanted to wait until I had the Paralyzer so that I could get it, uh, just to make it a bit easier, but it's over here on this side, I believe. I remember seeing it whenever we are doing the sign step. I just don't know where it was. I think it was over here. Oh, we gotta watch out. For gore. Yeah, it's right here. Perfect. Guillotine built. Okay, so again, just like we did for the Maxis part, we gotta shoot these orbs until they turn white. Oh, that one gives us 2k? Oh, snap. That's how I got so many points last game. Wow, I did not know that. Wait, why does that one give you so much? Is it because you build all the wall buys? That's probably why. I love it. I love Black Ops 2's Buried. <laughs> Dude, what is this game? Yeah, so these first steps are pretty much the exact same thing as the Maxis part. We shoot the orbs, and then we have to go knock the lantern out of the sky. Damn, Mule Kick is really bad. Like, really, really bad. I guess in the future, I'll try to get another free perk to fix this. Because originally, I was just going to get Speed Cola and Stamina Up. But now, it's going to be a lot harder to get those two. Oh, the lantern's over here. Let me see. There we go. Wow, that was perfect. 
<laughs> Rick Tovin's laugh is amazing. So I, I do love how there's both of the sides for the Easter egg. As you can tell where it's slightly different. So like, for example, with the orbs, instead of us destroying them, we're charging them. And then here, instead of getting souls from Leroy getting kills uh, into the lantern, we actually have to get witch kills. So we got to go over to the witch's house and get, I think it's not that many kills. It's only, I think, a couple. But I'm going to stand here and just farm. Whoa, Rick Tuffin. Hey, yo. I want to say that that's all the kills I need. Because we're not hearing the chime anymore. Oh, no, we are. Okay, that's it. We're done. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. We can finally continue to the Easter egg, man. God, it sucked hitting the box so much. So the way to check if the lantern's complete, we go over to this side again. I think that means it's complete. Let's see. So we got to build this over here again. Yep. Okay. That's pretty sick. And then another code. So let's see which signs these are. <laughs> okay so for this step again we're gonna have to buy the galvan knuckles we could buy the bowie knife as well i think i'm gonna buy the bowie knife this time because we're already well past the galvan knuckles round so i think we should buy the bowie knife as it's a lot cheaper but that means we are gonna have to go through another round so it looks like the first sign though is dry gulcher shaft from what i can tell here okay so the second one is oh fudge i'm getting slapped hold on zombie damn it uh, the second one is consumption. Consumption cross. Yeah, oh. yeah, I like to look at the front and then the back. The back, it gives uh, gives away a lot of them. Because at first, there is a couple that have... Sometimes will have the same letters in the front. But in the back, it'll completely give it away. So, that's what I like to look at. <laughs> the back. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> why does How does it happen all the time? It sounds sus. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to flip the round. It should be good. One extra round is all right. So the three signs we're gonna look for is dry gulcher, consumption, and ground biter. Shout out to the producers over here at Spippy Inc. I just got notified that it is probably gonna be good for me to have vulturade as well. So we gotta get 6k points pretty much in total. Let's see, ground biter, ground biter. Oh, right here. Oh, perfect. Okay, so let's open this door. We do have enough in case we need to open a door. I did make sure to open that one door that we got stuck on last time for the Maxis one. So I made sure to have that one open now. <laughs> um, but we do have a couple of extra points, so we should be fine. So let's do this. Okay, so... Dry Gulcher. Consumption. Groundbiter. Bam. That was right. Wait, where's the wisp? It is probably best not to develop what it really is. It will make you so sad. <laughs> but what happened? I seen the wisp for a small second, and then it disappeared. Okay, let's try this again. Then ground biter. So yeah, look. Wisp. Oh, it's over there. Okay, so that's why Vulturate is clutch. 
Oh, I didn't make it? Okay, so at least I know where it goes. Okay, I know where it goes now. Perfect, 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 perfect. So this is a teleporting wisp. See, I thought it was going to be like the normal wisp. Where I just follow it. But we're pretty much going to treat this like trial and error. I'm just going to keep on doing this until I get it. <laughs> so we pick this one up. I love how I say that and it's not in the same spot. It's not in the same spot. Oh my goodness. Oh, this time I went. This time I went this way. Oh, I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it! There we go. Let's go. We did it. So now we gotta get kills. Yep, wisp kills. All right, hey, we got you, Rick Toffin. No need to, no need to get all crazy. <laughs> Sweet. All right, we we gotta get a maximum this time, dude. We have to. I don't think it's that many zombies, but I gotta be careful. Okay, we're gonna have to use Vulture Raid. Oh, dude, they're going too far. Holy crap! Look at how far that zombie went. Oh my goodness. Maximo, please. Let's go. Damn, headless zombie. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be like the hard part of the Easter egg, some might say. I think I just shot Leroy. Um, we got to go to round infinity. So let me save a zombie real quick. And you know what? I think I'm going to pack a punch to Mark II. I think I will. Because we're going to need the ammo. Or should I pack a punch to Paralyzer? You know what? I'm going to pack a punch to Paralyzer. Because we did just get a maximum for the Mark II. So I should be fine. So now let's go into round infinity. So what we got to do is... I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk during this part. I'm going to try to, but it is kind of timed, so I got to hurry. Um, essentially, what I got to do, though, is go into round infinity, and there's going to be a bunch of bodies around the map. I mean, I'm sure you guys know, but um, there's a bunch of Victus crew bodies around the map scattered. We got to search them, but since we are in round infinity, I think the zombies are, like, insanely strong. I don't know too much about round infinity, but... I gotta hurry, essentially, because I will get kicked out of that mode. And what sucks about that is I'm gonna have to rely on a max ammo to get another time bomb. So uh, th this could be rough if I don't play my cards right. So hopefully this all goes well, because this sounds like a pain in the ass. I will say that for sure. Let's do this. Hopefully I get lucky. Please, game. So... A body, not body. Let's see. Am I just not gonna get lucky with any bodies? Where, where, where are these guys at? The bodies that I planned on searching are already gone. There's not even a body there. 
He's not a body there. Okay. Is Misty here? Oh, there is a Rustman. Nothing was found. Oh, God. Let's see if there's any over here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Nope. We only found one? You've got to be kidding me. We only found one. Oh, my days. Oh, we got to get a Maximo now. Son of a brother. Wow, that was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. We have no time in there. See, there's supposed to be a body in this spot. There's supposed to be a body here. I might have missed that one. Uh, there's supposed to be a body here. Or, well, there. I guess I should say there can be a body uh, in all these locations. Damn, I only found one. Okay. But there can be a spawn here. And then there can be a spawn in the church and right there. Ah, uh, damn. So... Looks like we gotta wait for a Maximo. It looks like I might be able to pack a bunch of Mark too. This is the step that I think is probably gonna be the most annoying out of the entire Easter egg. Because after this, we're pretty much done. Like this is this is it. The one. And it wasn't that hard to deal with the zombies. It's just the time. The time you're in there. Sorry, I just hit my mic. You might have heard that. Um it's just the time that you're in there. It's I just hit my mic like three times, my bad. Uh <laughs> it's it's not enough. It's not enough essentially. So we're still on a pretty low round. No need to panic. We could definitely do this still. I think as soon as I get a max ammo, I'm just going to go straight into... Oh, there we go. I'm just going to go straight in. Because there's no point in holding a zombie if they're all going to spawn again. And I don't want to accidentally get two max ammos. As if I do mess up, I kind of want another one. So let's see. Okay, so no bodies. I don't see no bodies. As you can see, no bodies. I do see a body here, though. Ooh, I risked it for the biscuit. Okay, so we're going to go this side first. Holy crap, that was scary. Okay, there's another body. Come on, dude. Give me what I need. Give me what I need. Found a switch. There it is. That's what we need. Okay, we just got to wait out now. Oh, dude. I just... Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what we need. We just need one switch. Okay, let's just wait it out. Wait, so can I kill any zombies in here? oh wow so it literally is oh that's kind of sick that is kind of sick what about paralyzer does that do any damage probably not wow okay yeah i mean the paralyzer i think is is the paralyzer worse than the mark ii in terms of damage i think it might be or it might be around the same okay so now we just gotta add the part to the guillotine we gotta hurry we gotta hurry we gotta hurry here we go Bro, Rick Toffin's funny as hell, dude. Now that we got the lever stuff done, we no longer have to worry about the time bomb or anything. Now we're gonna go over to the maze. For this next step, though, I'm going to save a zomble. As it's just gonna make things easier. Where the hell are you, witches? Oh, there he is. Or she, my bad. Hey, speed cola. I'm sure it's now just a simple matter of flipping the switches in the correct order. So yeah, we gotta flip the levers in the correct order. Uh, so we're pretty much gonna use process of elimination for this. So as you can see right here, I wanna find where the levers are at though. So that's one. That's two. Is there one on this side? Three. What the hell? Okay. So three in this. There's like a cluster of them. So that's three. Where's the fourth one? Well, what's that sound? Okay. So there's four levers. And we got to see which order we got to put them in. So let's just start with blue. Is that already wrong? Oh, no. I thought I heard it like buzz. Okay. So blue. Green. Red. Yellow. Okay, so 
Wow, I actually chose the right one. So it's blue first. It's blue first. Ah, okay. So it looks like I have to leave and then come back. Makes sense. Okay, so we got to remember blue is first. Yeah, I think I I actually am losing my mind because I cannot find this last <laughs> door. What? I'm super lost because this side leads to the doors that are in front. So these th this way leads to this side where there are two doors, right? Then we got one door all the way over there. But I can't find... Oh, what the hell? I can't find another door. And what's weird is... there's no See, there's that one over on that side. But I can't find the other one. There's only three. Okay, so I've been looking around for a minute and I cannot find this fourth door. I I think I'm losing my mind. I actually think I am. Um, usually there's one like around the entrance, but I really only found three. I've, I've only found the blue, green, and red levers. I don't know, bro. I looked around the entire place. I'm just going to reset this. Uh, it seems like we got to do this anyway, so... Uh, let's go back and forth real quick until I get this. So, I guess I'll cut back whenever I actually find this. I hope it's not, like, glitched or anything. Please. Okay, green is still down, too. Okay, so the order we went in last time was blue, green, red. Is this yellow? Oh, yellow's here. Okay, so that was wrong as well. Okay. This time, so we did blue, green, red. Let's do blue, red green and then yellow okay so it's blue red yellow green blue red yellow green blue red yellow green by the way this is the day after um <laughs> i started this easter egg i tried doing all these easter eggs like back to back that's kind of how like i that's kind of how i like to record them and stuff but um unfortunately this buried one took so long that i uh it's now the next day but the point is i i like writing these sort of steps down like even if it's a code or if it's like something i have to memorize i like writing it down physically so i accidentally left my marker <laughs> uncapped and it's uh, it's a little uh messed up now which kind of sucks so rip marker boys rip marker we need to find a red Okay, blue, red, yellow, and then green. Green. There it is. Let's go. I really like the confirmation noise of completing the step. It sounds really good. I, I I don't know. The buried theme is just so goaded. I love it so much. We gotta go do the sharpshooter step. So you might be wondering how the how this sharpshooter part is even gonna work. Because you're supposed to shoot multiple targets at multiple locations and stuff like that. Well, since we're solo, we only have to shoot the targets that are in the saloon. So that's all we gotta worry about. Um now, I do have mule kick, so I'm going to go ahead and buy... What do I buy? The A94? The PDW... We, need, we want something with a good amount of ammo, and it's either the A94 or the PDW. How much is the A94? It's 50, right? Oh, 30. 30 shots. Would that be enough? Yeah, I guess. I kind of I kind of want to use the A94 anyway, so we'll, we'll, we'll use this one. Okay, so I think all I'm supposed to do is make the wish. And then I got to run over to the saloon. I think. So there are 19 targets. That's three, I think. Four, five. Six, seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14. No! Give it to me! Wait, is it still going? Wait, I don't... No, it's not. It's not going. Damn, this is kind of hard. Because of the zombie. He bothers you quite a bit. So, can I just redo that? Let's see. Because I don't know if I can just do it until I get it. Oh, maybe... Do I flip the round? Oh, wait! I just got all the perks. Wait, does it autocomplete? Wait. Wait. Wait, I thought I had to do that. Uh, hold on. Dude. Wait. Wait. I'm actually so confused right now because... <laughs> the uh the producers over here at super inc actually told me that i had to do the sharpshooter so i was so worried about it did it just auto complete wait so we don't get another uh like quote or anything didn't we get another one from axis i don't know i mean i got all the perks so i guess it auto completes i didn't re well we kind of got like some practice with that that was kind of cool i guess i mean i i tried it <laughs> i tried it um but let's push the button because I think we can do the Ricks off inside now. Finally, I am in control. Let's go. <laughs> that doesn't come in a bowl, but I do understand that. Just carry on as normal, and I'll try to leave you alone for a while. Okay, is that it? So, as you can see, we have the fire cell active now and i believe this fire cell is going to last the entire game so it's never going to go away not only that but we should also be able to get four weapons in total i have so much trust in this and i'm going to actually put my paralyzer in here let's see so we should now have the hammer a94 the mark ii 
and the paralyzer dude that's so sick i think this is probably the best reward and also a cool little thing that happens now is uh stool injury's eyes are supposed to be blue i'll show you guys what that looks like um on the screen for you guys right now it looks pretty cool i i think that's like I don't know. I feel like this is definitely the best ending, at least for the player. Obviously, we know that the max aside is what's canon, but I think this is by far way better than the max aside because it is cool, like I said earlier, to get a guaranteed drop from the blue eyed zombies. But having the infinite fire cell plus four weapons is already way better than that. Yeah, that is pretty much it for the Victus maps. It sucks that I couldn't do the sharpshooter, man. I really wanted to do that. Damn, man. Even, like, bro, I'm telling you, I really thought that I was going to have to do that uh, step. It's really weird. Um, I was really hoping I'd be able to. I tried. I actually practiced it a little bit. <laughs> um, I don't know how fast it's supposed to go. I mean, I, I, I actually almost beat it. I almost did it myself. I just needed, what, like, five more targets or something it's just the zombie was distracting me too much so i couldn't really do it this was a little anticlimactic towards the end because of the stupid sharpshooter step but i'm actually super happy that i got to experience this easter egg and all the other easter eggs transit was pretty fun diarize was all right if you do this on an early round you'd be set you'd be actually set i don't know how early you can get it i mean maybe if you have god luck with the box you get time bombs and paralyzer that's all you really need you just need time bombs and paralyzers um and once you do that, you're good, I think. And if you have four players doing this, you can easily run through this Easter egg and just have a great time after the fact. Um, but yeah, we're getting pretty bad luck here. Let's move over to Mob of the Dead now. Enough messing around here, folks. We are now moving on to Mob of the Dead. One of my favorite maps of all time. And the Easter egg is pretty fun as well and that is a longer one in the sense that there's just a lot to do i wouldn't say like the actual steps are that long it's just we got to collect the plane parts multiple times so we do got to run across the map a lot which does kind of suck but hopefully we'll be able to get through it pretty fast so yeah the main thing we're gonna focus on at the beginning is just feeding the dogs and getting the plane parts to fly for the first time and then uh, after that actually don't even think we need the redeemer either i think we only need the retriever so i'm not sure if i'll get the redeemer i might do it just for the funnies i do like getting the redeemer the process is pretty fun anyway we'll see though um once we get to that oh and by the way this mod doesn't really change too many of the steps it's literally the exact same since this is one of those easter eggs that you can kind of do solo it's similar to how shadows is where you could do like 90 percent of the easter egg but there's one step that you can't do it's literally the same thing the only step that you can't do officially solo is the last step where you got a pvp on the plane can i get that nice yeah so that last step that obviously requires multiple people on the plane for the final kind of boss fight i guess you could say <laughs> uh you can't do that one solo officially but you can get the headphones and everything completely solo but since i do want to get the actual um pvp at the end we do have the mod installed so yeah i mean none of the steps are changed they're all the exact same can i do it yes okay sweet so yeah uh it's pretty awesome that this time there is no easter egg change so the key is not here unfortunately oh i don't know why i'm going up here I'm just so used to going up there for the key. We also got to throw the grenades in the fire for a little bit. You already know, dude. You already know. Got to get those 20 points. I am pretty happy that we got both of the endings for uh, Buried. That's one thing that I was kind of concerned about. Once I realized... I Honestly, I completely forgot about the Super Easter Egg stuff. So whenever <laughs> I was researching the Buried Easter Egg and people were talking about the Super Easter Egg, I was kind of confused. Like, wait, what? There really is? And then I realized yeah there is a super easter egg and by the time that i realized there was a super easter egg we had already done the max side and then the ricktoff inside so it was already kind of like weird how i did it i guess since i did them back to back it, it just overrides each other so i don't know i thought it wasn't going to work too well good thing it did though and we actually got both of them shout out to the mod that actually allowed me to show you guys both of the endings I guess let me know down below in the comments which super easter egg reward you guys would prefer. Do you guys prefer the Maxis one or the Richtofen one? I'm going to say the Richtofen one is definitely the one that's most worth it. For me, at least. Hey, Maximo 2. Alright, let's get to the infirmary as fast as we can. Um, Yeah, I'm not really going to worry about perks. Usually what I like to do for mob is fly. And then when I come back, since everything is already on and I don't have to turn everything on individually, I'll just buy perks whenever we come back after we fly. Let's hit the box one more time while we're here. While we're passing by, maybe we'll get the Blunder God. Okay, Barrett. Classic. 
<laughs> Alrighty. Uh, is the acid gap part in this area? No, I think it's going to be here. Yep. So we finally got the dog fed. Here, let me teleport these zombies. I am going to grab the free blunder gat for that step first. Just so that I can pack a punch it and just have a good weapon already. So let's go grab the retriever and then on our way back to the roof, we will get the skulls. Let's see. I think the, I think you can get a skull from here, right? I don't know the exact spot. I remember there being something like this, though. There we go. I don't really want to end the round right now. Let's see. So this one is kind of hard to get. Never mind, I got it. <laughs> I always have a hard time with that one. I expected that one to take a lot longer. There we go. And time for the last skull. Uh-huh. Give me that blunder gap, baby. Got him. Let's also grab the acid gap part. Man, I don't remember this camo. Let's take a look at it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow, this looks sick. See, I think we have to fly three times in total. I don't remember being three. I thought you only had to fly twice. Um, I mean, either way, I'm going to fly three times just in case. Because, like I said, I don't really remember the exact steps. But I remember whenever I did this with my friends, I, I don't remember us flying that many times. It's possible we did. I'm not sure. Yahoo! Let's go through this full round with just the Hell's Retriever. It should be all right since it's only round nine. God, the shaking is insane. It's hilarious. Once you stay here for a long time, if you get like five Brutus or whatever, it is literally unplayable. <laughs> There's just so much shaking. It's insane. Plus the lining. It's headache simulator. Wait, I don't know if I messed up because I forgot to get the kills for the retriever before coming here. I don't know if I can get both of the steps done in the same round. Can I? damn you can't okay so i messed up there so obviously you're supposed to get kills with the retriever before you do the round on the bridge and i forgot to get kills with the retriever so we just got the kills and then now we gotta spend another round it was really fast though but more brood eye are here oh my goodness we just knocked the helmet off of all three of them no way there we go. We got the confirmation always. All right, so now that we're back, let's just focus on flying again. I'm gonna go collect all the gas cans and fly as fast as I can. Redeemer time. Let's go, dude. Once we come back to Alcatraz, I'll throw the tomahawk at the poster. We'll do the spoon stuff. We'll collect the parts again, fly, and then on our way back, we'll put the numbers in. Sounds like a lot, but it's really not that much. Yeah, this one's a very straightforward Easter egg. It's just, there's a lot of running around. That's really it. Oh, dude, let's pack a punch of the LSAT, too. Oh, wait, I forgot the scope. Ew. Can I change it? <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, this is much better. Oh, way better, way better. I've never met anybody in my life that's liked the huge scope on the weapons. I mean, on multiplayer, it makes sense. In zombies, dude, I just don't get it. I guess let me know if you guys like the big scope. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> we have a poster to tear down. Bam! Going after life. Go through the portal. Where are you spoon? It's so small. Look at it. But it has a lot of personality. So now that we shocked the spoon, we got to make our way over here to the cafeteria. Where we actually get the spoon. So... As you can see, it's right there on the table. And then I guess if you can, I can never see it, but you can kind of see the spoon as your knife. Oh, never mind. I can kind of see it. It's really hard to see, but we have it. We obviously got to buy electric cherry. Every time you play mob, you got to get electric cherry. Oh yeah. And I forgot the electric cherry perk icon looks a little bit different. Uh, I'm not sure what the story is behind the two guns like that. Interesting for Cherry, but hey, it looks kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> so for this last part, we do have two afterlife, so we don't have the three. I did use one. What did I use it for? I used it for something. I don't know. Okay, so let's do this. So the first number we're going to put in is eight. 
eight, seven, two. One. No, I missed it. Fudge, 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 fudge. I messed up. 101. I'm going to go res myself. <laughs> we could do two and two. We're going to do three, eight, six. Okay. And then four, eight, one. There we go. Now it's time to pick up our AirPods. My name is Stanley Ferguson. I was a guard at Alcatraz from 1933 to 1942. Today, I'm going to give you some insight into one of the more interesting tales of the prison's history. Over the decades, Alcatraz has seen more than its fair share of daring escape attempts. However, few were as audacious as the one undertaken by four inmates on New Year's Eve, 1933. Thought to be the brainchild of an inmate by the name of Albert Arlington, the outrageous scheme was as unlikely as its mastermind. It's believed that Arlington, aka the Weasel, somehow convinced three other inmates that he had devised a foolproof plan to escape the rock. It was a plan that would see them literally taking to the skies on a makeshift aircraft of Arlington's own design. Just how the Weasel managed to convince these hardened criminals that such a plan would be impossible remains a mystery to this day. What is known is that no such plane was ever built. Instead, the group's plans for freedom soon descended into bitter argument and infighting. Okay, I rose the box. I'm not sure if... If he dies, if that messes up or anything, so just in case. I'm a little behind because of the freaking bot that went down. Suspecting Arlington to the roof, where they intended to exact a bloody and violent revenge. The only bad thing is I don't have an afterlife. I'm gonna have to end the round. And so it was here, beneath the dark <coughs> and stormy winter skies, that the hapless Arlington met his grisly end, bleeding to death on the cold concrete roof. For their participation in the murder, the three collaborators were sent to death by electric chair. Justice came swiftly. On the morning of January 19, 1934, the execution order was carried out. Okay. So for this, I'm going to kill the zombie because I have to get my afterlife. Let's go do this quick. <laughs> Before the zombies spawn. Just a plane. Let's get on, boys. Our person should get teleported here. Yeah, there he is. ML <laughs> Leslie. ML Leslie. Shout out to ML Leslie. Is that the maker of the mod? It could be. So unfortunately, we are not able to die to Weasel. I think he's just going to stand there, which kind of sucks. Um, but So we're going to have to kill him, essentially. It just sucks that he can't kill me. That would be hilarious. And I think I have to res him. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him sitting there. <laughs> PvP boys! Actually, can I die to him? Oh, he's gonna get wrecked anyway. Oh, never mind. Yeah, he doesn't do anything, unfortunately. Bam! Oh, wow, he ate that to the face. There it is. The cycle continues. There we go. The Mob of the Dead Easter egg, done. Life over. You survive 14 rounds. This is so cool. It actually puts the players against each other. I really think this is such a unique Easter egg. Definitely one of my favorites for sure. Very easy. Like I said, pretty laid back most of the time. Nothing crazy. Now it's time to get into the one that's the complete opposite. Origins. It's now time for the final map for today. And this is one of those maps you can do completely solo without any mods or anything. I think this is the second Easter egg on uh, Black Ops 2 that you can do completely solo. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but 
Uh, I know you can do the transit one if you get insane luck, and you can also do this one. Now, since we did already do this Easter egg very recently, we've actually done this one quite a bit recently, so uh, I think we're just going to kind of go over this one kind of quickly. You know, I'm still going to do the Easter egg and everything, and we're still going to get the cutscene and all, but I'll probably just go over this map pretty quickly. But if you guys do want to see uh, a video where I actually do the Origins Easter egg uh, in a pretty fun way with a mod, uh, definitely check it out. I recently just did the Reverse Rainbow Perk Challenge with 50 perks. So, it was pretty awesome. Definitely check that out. But, uh, yeah. We'll just go over this one pretty quickly. Oh, wow. Look at the nuke. Eee! Almost got double slapped. I don't want to pick up this nuke. Well, nice. We just got it anyway. It's going to be pretty nice actually playing Origins normally, though. Usually, whenever I do the Origins Easter Egg, there's something attached to it. Whether it's a mod or a challenge or something. I haven't done the Origins Easter Egg just normally in quite a while. So, this is kind of strange. <laughs> What the hell? Wait, what? I built the wrong staff. Wait, what? Oh, wait, no, this is the eye staff. I thought this was a lightning staff for a second. It looks like it. I guess because I have the camos on it. That kind of threw me off, dude. I was going to say, how the hell did I just build the lightning staff if I'm missing a part? Wow, that that that's weird. <laughs> I'm telling you, boys, I haven't changed these camos in a long time. Oh, this is perfect. So I'm going to go grab the wind crystal. I'm going to put the staff of ice into the staff pedestal and then we're going to start upgrading the fire staff and while i'm getting souls for the fire staff i'll also get souls for the eye staff dude let's go we have this all planned out i'm so surprised how well this is going only i could mess this up okay so the eye staff is done we already collected enough souls we just got to finish the fire torch thing We're almost done, actually. Oh, no, we're done. Oh. There we go. Wait, is that La Zombie? Good. Good. <laughs> oh, Panza. Panza. Where are you, dude? Bah, 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 bah. Ow. Get wrecked. One, two, four, six. We, and I did already do the panel stuff, so we're good. So, we now have all of the staffs ready in the crazy place. We just got to get the souls for them, so we're going to chill probably by, I don't know, I guess here. And we'll get the souls slowly. It shouldn't take that long. And I already have everything ready, as you can see. we got the Max drone as well, so once I'm done with this... Oh, we got to get the G-Strike. That's the next thing we got to do. It should be very simple, though. We're not we're not that high in the rounds right now, so that should be fine. We also got to fill up the Soul Boxes, but that's going to be fast, too. I'll do the G-Strikes and then the Soul Boxes. Ah, uh, what? Oh, no, it's done. It's done. It's done. Nice. So, if I pick this up... Perfect. The Staffs go down to the pedestal. I'll, I'll grab the Fire Staff. Yeah, so... Uh, it's pretty cool that the staffs are now all teleported over by the excavation now, so that's good. Panzer, ha, 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 Panzer thinks he's uh, he's still strong. Little does he know. He actually landed on top of me. I, that's never happened before where he's landed directly on top of me. I'm glad I did not die. <laughs> there we go. We actually got very lucky with an insta-kill, which was great. It's got to be careful not to get dirty. Wait, if I get the rock dirty, do I have to get the souls again, or do I just got to dip it in the water? That is something I don't know. I think I just got to dip it in the water and then take it back, right? I don't think I have to get the souls again. That would kind of suck. Usually, I'm very, very careful when I have the rock, so I normally don't fail this step, thankfully. Ha! Ah, there we go, the G-Strikes. Let's grab those. Perfect, dude. 
now we got everything to get into the real nitty gritty of the easter egg so this step you're supposed to put all the stuffs into all of the giant heads luckily there's a bit of a workaround here so i think you just have to place this in here and then you take it oh oh you, you do this then you put it back in then you take it out i think it's four times put it there let's see nope a little bit more okay one more time there we go there we go so that's an interesting little like skip for the origins easter egg i'm sure everybody knows this by now but yeah you don't actually have to put all the staffs on this only works for black ops 2 though on black ops 3 you do actually have to um uh, put all these staffs in the heads i learned that whenever i did my uh, reverse rainbow perk challenge a little bit ago so yeah only on black ops 2 you can do this on it's now time for the really annoying part. So we got to wait for the middle robot to walk by. We got to get inside of his head, press the button, throw the G-Strike, and pray that I have great aim. Please, please, tell me I can do this relatively easy. Not that side, that sucks. The right side is the optimal side. Oh, wow, it's neither. Damn. Let's start filling up the soul boxes now. It's going to take a good minute for him to come back anyway. I've done this so many times. And I'm still not confident in doing this step. I've done this at least more than 10 times. And I still am just so bad at this part. Okay, so again, the light isn't here? No way. Damn, it isn't. Well, this is like really bad luck. I normally at least get a try by now. No way! I still haven't gotten it? This is actually insane. Yes, finally, finally, finally. One attempt, one attempt, one attempt. For a second, I thought it kind of like bugged. Oh my goodness, I thought I didn't hit it. Okay, let's do this. So I'm going to do the classic strat where I just wait until they get kicked out and then press the button. Okay, there we go. I just got to run. No! Ah, fudge! Dude, I needed to throw it a little bit higher. <laughs> no! Oh, man. Yeah, I needed a little bit higher. We got the foot not on the best side. Usually, the other side's the best. It's okay, though. Well, I'll definitely take this one. Hey, listen, any foot is a good foot. Okay, dude. So, yep, the round flip. This is scary, though. Give me some time. Just give me some time zombies i don't even care if i die what's my shield health looking like e we're gonna die okay no way it fell in between the cracks bro bro it fell in between the cracks Yes, there it is. Let's go. Let's go. What did I say? What did I say? Oh my god. Oh my god. We've done it. Okay, so we just gotta put Maxis in there. Alright, Maxis, do your thing. Do your thing. Maxis, do your thing. <laughs> Where'd you go? Did he go in there? Wait. What? <gasps> I didn't break it? Hold on. Did I miss a step? Wait, I'm like mad confused right now. Did I not make it on time? Wait. Wait. I didn't break it? I'm actually so confused right now. There's no way I missed a step. I'll see that for sure. Did I just run out of time? Well, we're gonna have to go grab another Max Gerald once this one's done. Oh man. <laughs> I was so confident that I had it that I threw a Max Gerald. I didn't even look in the hole.
Okay, did this finally work? Yes, the time does not lie. It has taken me 30 minutes to even get another attempt. Like, not even for me to get this. Just for me to get another attempt. Oh my... I need to pause for a second, fellas. I don't think you'll understand. <laughs> the pain I just endured by... Uh... Dude, it took so long for me to get the the damn lights on the middle robot so long just to get the light under the foot of the robots i literally since the last time i talked i hadn't even tried this that's insane to me dude i can't believe how unlucky we were bro it's insane it's insane how unlucky i was but whatever, let's continue now. I'm just happy that we're finally done with that step. Holy. Okay, so we have the Boom Hilda here. We also have the Ice Staff. Um, I'm just going to... I think I'm going to use the Boom Hilda, though. We should... I think we get a Max Ammo, right? Or something? Zombie, you want to move a little bit, brother? In? I'm not trying to kill him yet. Bro, we're, we're like training the, <laughs> the Panzers. I just really don't want to kill the zombie scurry dude we're gonna have to kill the zombie anyway scurry dude scurry he's just getting in the way too much and i just want to be done with this step already is that all of them yeah it is okay so now we got to get a um zombie blood so that we can see the invisible plane now for this step oh, i forgot i'm gonna want to get a normal weapon it's gonna be hard to hit the plane with the boom hilda so I guess we'll grab... Actually, I'll grab the free weapon we get from the reward box. That's going to be good enough. I've never had such a bad experience with the G-Strike part. I have failed it many, many times. Trust me, I'm not... You know, it's not like I get it first try every time. It's very rare if I get it first try. It's just that I this time I didn't even have that many attempts to even try. That's That's the part that is so weird to me. That it just took forever for me to get the foot in the middle robot. Normally, I'll get it in the middle super often. I'm talking not every time the robots come by, but definitely like 75% of the time. This time, dude, it just felt like I was just uh, having a nightmare. I'll get wrecked, dude. There we go. Now it's time for us to punch the zombies down here. They're going to have the white smoke, as we all know. Now, we don't actually have to kill the zombies with the punch. We just got to knock the white off of them and then kill them. However however else we want, really. So, should be very simple. Uh, it's pretty 